Well, hello everybody. This is my Jeep and we're back and ready to start again. Got back from our trip from Texas about a week ago. Took about three days to get the uh, RV ready to go back into storage and I had a lot of yard work waiting for me. And now it's Wednesday, May 26th. I'm getting ready to start. And as I uh, anticipated, I will have some rework to do. If you remember, I put uh, my springs, uh, took them out, new rubber isolators in, my Rough Country shocks, and my lift kit. And I didn't want to leave the Jeep tore down all this time because uh, I didn't have all my parts. I didn't have my axles. I didn't have my upper control arm and some other things so there will be some rework involved but I expected that anticipated it and here's some of the items that came in while we were on our trip and I will be uh, installing them among some other things also like a skid plate for my uh, fuel tank still considering that and also uh, my brakes rear brakes that is parking brake rotors new brake pads new calibers I still have to install these items So as you can see, I still got a lot to do. And good morning, it's my Jeep. And it's Thursday, May 27th, 2021. Yeah, I'm starting to get uh, my Jeep prepared uh, to do that rear suspension work. Uh, I've got a lot of organizing here in the garage though before I do that for this Jeep. I'll probably be in the garage for at least a week and it could be more because uh, I've got some other things uh, that I need to do. If, uh, you know, like if I decide to do the skid plate, I'm going to have to still order that and I might have it in here for two weeks. But anyway, uh, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm getting me pl uh, getting my garage organized. Uh, I'm using the back end of my uh, Jeep for some storage of other items uh, that came out of our RV and stuff like that, you know. And uh, I've got all my parts to the Jeep or here in the garage, you know, just like this axle over here, and uh, you know my brakes. And let me see, I got stuff everywhere. There's my upper control arm right there. And my ball joint to it is over here. Yeah, everything, like I said, I'm trying to get organized. That's what I'm working on now. I doubt if I'm gonna get to any work today, but I'm going to get the garage organized, the work area prepared and get my Jeep in here and uh, I may get the rear wheels taken off and uh, jack stands on it. I'm not sure yet, we'll just see where we go, what we get to and I'll give you an update later. Later, excuse me, later. And that's uh, my Jeep out. Hey, good afternoon, it's my Jeep. That's late afternoon, about three o'clock been doing a lot of work more than what I anticipated uh, but most of it's been uh, what I call rework because I've done it before but uh, to finish this out uh, I had to remove my springs my new uh, what uh, let's see what's that off-road And good afternoon, this is my Jeep with another update. It's late afternoon. And as you can see, uh, 
you know, I've been doing some rework, anticipated it. See, I got my uh, springs out, the lifts out on both sides. You know, the rough country uh, lifts and shocks that I put in, they had to come back out. And one of the things I'm going to be doing, if you see that control arm back in there, I will be changing that out. And I got the, uh, I disconnected the uh, floor control arms. You can see there's one of the springs. Now there's what I'm going to be tackling over the next couple of days. That upper control arm is pretty bad shape. I've got a lot of noise back there, and I think it's what's causing it. And that's some of the brakes. Uh, driver's side, there's the uh, damaged skid plate. Okay, and as you can see, there's the uh, upper control arm. And it looks like it's a... See, I sprayed a lot of this with paint the last time just so it wouldn't look so bad, but it's bushings are bad. And it's hard to see. I'm gonna try to move my phone up in there, get the light on. All right, turn the light off. And anyway, uh, that uh, you know, uh, whether you can see it or not, the uh, camera may not pick it up. But this thing is real rusty. Probably never been changed out. And I do have some noise back here when I stop and take off. But anyway, I got a new upper control arm and ball joint. I will be tackling that. Uh, got new brakes, got new rotors, new calibers, uh, new brake pads, and I got a new uh, parking brake or rear brake uh, drums. You know, the small drums are real small. They're just uh, the parking brake. I'm gonna change those out too. But anyway, that's where I am now. I'm not gonna do a whole lot more today. I've done a lot of prep. I've been working since this morning, just getting my garage and work area ready. And I've actually done more work than I am, you know, planned on doing. You know, once you get something started, uh, you know, it's hard to break off. And I got the lower control arms. You know, uh, disconnected, and which you know, and I got the uh, shocks, uh, sway bar legs, got the springs out, uh, and my rough country uh, spacer, got it out on this side. It gives you more room to work, and. Uh, so before I get that stuff back in, I will tackle that uh, upper arm, upper control arm. And we'll see if we can get a little better view of it. I think we can from the uh, driver's side. I want to see this before I start pulling it apart. Uh, you know, more or less just document and let other people see the sound on it. I don't know if that's going to come out, what I might try to do is take some uh, photos of it, uh, you know, with the flasher maybe I'll be able to get more. Get. See that bush in there, let me see, sorry I got my finger, that bush in there you can see all the rust. The other one's covered up because I did some uh, painting uh, just to cover it up. Anyway, uh, I'm going to take a few photos of it and see if it'll come out a little better. My deep out. I'm going to go get spice. Again, this, uh, this is one of the things that uh, I'm going to have to make a decision on. It's more, I think, a cosmetic thing than anything else. But uh, I've had my tank pretty full and it doesn't leak, but uh, you can see that skid plate, 
pretty damaged from that rear end uh, accident the former owner was in. And it looks like it's probably got a dent in the gas tank there too. And the uh, spare tire, spare tire compartment is damaged. It was uh, got a big dent. It was pushing upward. It's got to be straightened down, and I do have some body work. I've talked about it before. As much as I spent on this thing. Uh, I'm gonna have it done. When I finish my suspension and what work I can do to get this thing running as, as good as possible, I'm gonna put it in one of the local body shops and get it you know, pretty decent looking. Don't have to be perfect. Uh, I'm gonna keep this cheap. That, that's probably gonna end up, I'll have uh, probably $5,000 or more in it, not counting a lot of my labor. Uh, this is a hobby and I'm enjoying it most of the time, you know, until I bust a knuckle or something. But anyway, keep me occupied gives me something to do. It's almost like having a job. And <laughs> one thing it does, I'm helping the economy because I'm spending money. Anyway, uh, I'm going to let y'all go for now. That's, uh, I'll update y'all tomorrow because I will be getting after it. I will be doing real work tomorrow. Uh, those brake drums coming off. Uh, I mean the rotors and brakes, brake drums and axles. Hopefully I can start getting the axles out of there too. Yeah, I got a brand new left and right axle shaft assemblies with the bearings, races, seals, the whole nine yards. It's already put together. It's cost me about 450 bucks for the two axles. There's another axle in that box. So anyway, uh, we'll have some money in it. I'm gonna keep it. If the It's got 200,000 plus miles on it. If the engine or the drivetrain goes down, I'm getting a rebuilt engine, rebuilt drivetrain. Okay, my Jeep, out for now.